In this video, we show you how to trace three slightly different variations of a tree traversal algorithm in order to traverse the contents of a tree in a pre-order, post-order and in-order fashion. When a binary tree has been constructed, there are three very different ways of traversing it. These are known as pre-order traversal, in-order traversal and post-order traversal. And it's important for the exam to know the difference between the three. Each one will chuck out the data from the binary tree in a different order. Now for all examples, let's remember that the input order is the same. It went in originally alphabetically, so Dave came in first as the root, Craig was alphabetic left than Dave, so he went left, Sam came next, had to go right, Cal was next, came in after Dave, after Craig, and goes down here, and then finally Mark was alphabetically greater than Dave, but alphabetically less than Sam. The order is different. The important thing to note as we work through these examples is the only difference between pre-order, in-order and post-order traversal is the point at which the root is visited. So let's look at pre-order traversal carefully. This is known, and for the exam should be remembered, as the top-down traversal method. It encounters all of the roots before encountering all of the leaves. So, we visit the root and we output Dave. We then traverse left. This now becomes our new tree. And this is the root of our new subtree. We visit it and we output Craig and we traverse left. We now hit this subtree. This becomes our entire new subtree of which Carol is the root. We visit the root and we output Carol. We traverse left, we can't. We traverse right, we can't. We come up We've outputted this, we come up again, we out, well, we've already outputted this, so we traverse right. This is now our new subtree, this becomes the root. We visit the root and output Sam. We traverse left, which we can. This becomes a new subtree, this therefore becomes our root, and we visit the root and we output Mark. In the exam, you should think about placing your pointers, or in this case our dots, to the left of the values. And then if you draw a line around, you output each value as you visit the dot on the left. So we've passed the left of Dave, we output it. We've passed the left of Craig, Carol, we come up through the right, and as we pass the left of Sam, we output, and output the left of Mark. With in-order traversal, we retrieve the data according to its inherent sequence. Now we'll go over that again in a second. What's important here is we traverse left first and we visit the root node second. To help with this type of traversal, you should think of placing the dots or markers below the values and we only output when we hit them. So, we traverse left, we traverse left, and as we come under Carol and pass it, we hit our dot, visiting our root and output. We then come back up, we are underneath Craig, so we output. We're underneath Dave, so we output. We traverse right, left. This becomes our root. We're travelling underneath Mark, so we output. We travel back up, and we're underneath Sam, so we output. You'll notice that in order traversal is very, very useful. It's actually output the data from this binary search tree in the alphabetic order. So it came in as Dave, Craig, Sam, Carol and Mark, got sorted alphabetically, and when we use in-order traversal, the values have come out in alphabetic order. The final traversal method is post-order traversal. Here, we visit the root last. This is known as a bottom-up traversal. It encounters all the leaves before encountering all the roots. Again, in the exam, if you place your dot or your marker to the right of each value and then again follow around, output each value as we pass the marker, you'll be performing a post-order traversal. So we traverse the left subtree. We traverse the left subtree. This is the root of this bottom subtree and as we come around it to the right, we output Carol. We come up, we output Craig. 
We're underneath Dave, so we don't output this. And as we can see here, we're required to traverse to the right and to the left. This is the root of the current subtree, and as we walk around to the right of it, we output it. We output Sam. We come back up, and we output Dave. As mentioned, the three different types of traversals are very, very similar. Here's our example pseudocode. The only difference is that we are visiting the roots at a different point. And if we place the markers to the left, underneath and to the right, you literally can follow with a pen around in the exam and output the values as you hit your markers and you will get the correct output for the traversal method you're trying to use.